Okay, folks. Well, welcome back to the uh, Wisconsin Trout Fishing uh, Catch and Cook uh, Kitchen. Uh, there was a lot of interest in the last video here, so I went ahead and uh, you may have seen that I had to string up that brookie um, uh, because he took it way deep in the gills. So those are the two fillets for that brookie. And then this dish that I have here is a uh, chili cream sauce uh, trout dish that is cooked on the grill. And uh, I have the ingredients out in front of you. And uh, I'll go ahead and do a bit of uh, chopping uh, uh, in a moment. But uh, first I'll list uh, the ingredients. So this dish is fantastic and you need a couple of uh, absolute uh, things for this dish to work out well on the grill. Uh, obviously you need two uh, pieces of trout. And then uh, I always um, pepper and uh, salt uh, my trout. This dish is going to be bathed in uh, cream and cheese so you do not have to uh, salt and pepper a lot. But you absolutely need salt and pepper. One clove of garlic, I'll chop that up uh, and mince it up. And then the heat in this dish, I like hot things, so I'm using two Thai chili peppers here. Um, these are real hot, so if you don't like hot stuff, you could use a jalapeno, take the seeds out, a serrano, take the seeds out. I'm going to leave the seeds in, and I'm just going to chop those up and put them into the dish. I have some cilantro in a bag here, uh, and I'll chop some of that up. You need heavy whipping cream. And then very importantly, you need some type of uh, quesadilla cheese. It needs to be an easy melting cheese um, that is going to uh, do well uh, with the uh, cooking on the grill. So this cheese melts up super, super soft um, and it's going to be fantastic. So I'll do a little bit of chopping here and then I will show you the chopped ingredients and then I will um, assemble the dish because there is some particular uh, way to uh, make sure that this dish comes out well. Okay, so we're ready here for uh, assembly now. and So um, uh, it is important to, um, this dish is, is particular on the ratio of cream to um, uh, cheese. But what I'll do is I'll show you I don't use a ton of salt on my trout. It just needs a little bit here. The cheese has some salt too. I'm just going to salt one side of it. That looks good to me. And then also some pepper. And again, I'm not going to go hog wild. Just enough to add a little bit of extra seasoning. If you like your stuff more heavily seasoned, by all means, have at it. And so for the fish, this is a real simple thing. I, I don't chop these up. Uh, you could chop these up if you wanted to, but I actually like to use my fork and um, break the fish uh, in the cheese and the cream sauce with this dish. Um, I think it's just a little bit, uh, a little bit more fun to eat that way. And so uh, I've uh, taken the liberty of um, mixing up uh, or chopping up the um, ingredients and the garlic um, I did not do with a real um, uh, fine cut because I don't want the garlic to uh, overpower uh, all of the food um, so if if you use garlic the finer you chop it uh, the more it is going to uh, be garlicky in the dish so I'll go ahead and you do want to kind of just sprinkle this around evenly you can see that okay, but I'll move it over there. Sprinkle it around evenly. And then here are the chilies that I talked about. And again, adjust the heat for what you like. I like hot stuff, so this is going to be hot. <laughs> and uh, I, when I get a chance to find these Thai chilies at a, at a little bit more uh, exclusive grocery store, um, they're really good to just toss in the uh, freezer, especially if you're going to use them for a dish like this because the freshness of them isn't going to be uh, a killer. Next, you want to add the cheese. And you want to add, you can add as much cheese as you like, really, but uh, there's a ratio here. You want to have enough cheese just to kind of cover the uh, fillet. So, 
that in just about, I think, I think that's enough. I like my stuff cheesy though, so I'll go just a little bit more. But that's plenty of cheese for one dish. And of course the cilantro, uh, you don't want to, you don't want to grill that. Uh, that'll go on fresh afterwards. And here is the very critical part. How much cream you add will determine whether this dish is a success on the grill or not. And you want to just be able to get enough cream in there uh, to wet the cheese. And I don't have a measure, but if I was going to measure it, I'd say it's probably a quarter cup. But you don't want to overdo it because that fish is going to release some water. And um, you want it to uh, cook. You want it to crust up. I always kind of mat everything down so it's really even. That way I can tell the uh, level of the uh, cream in there. And this dish is, is, is on a level surface. It needs just a little bit more. And so you can see I have the cheese completely wetted. And that is perfect. So uh, we'll go toss it on a high, a high heat grill and it'll take about uh, 10 minutes or so. So here we go. And it's just it's as simple as this. You just open the grill, and uh, I'm going to put it right on the grill. Sorry, that grill is a bit dirty, but I'm going to shut off the burner directly underneath, just so it goes a little easy on the, on the pan. But we'll go back and take a look at it when it's ready to come off. Okay, so let's take a look now. It's been about another minute. Yeah, so it's brown around the edges. I think that's perfect. If you wanted to broil this, you certainly could. And by the way, if you're cooking on the grill like this, I'll go off. Here's your friend. That sucker is scorching hot. If you even tried to touch it, it would burn your hand instantly. So I'm going to shut the grill down. Uh, and we'll get it inside. And we'll um, let it cool down. And uh, I'll show it to you before I eat it. All right. So I've uh, put the uh, cilantro on top of it. And I'm telling you, this one is absolutely fantastic. And uh, I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. I would not encourage you to uh, bite right into that because it's hot, hot, hot. But uh, thanks for uh, visiting the Wisconsin Trout Fishing Kitchen again. And uh, happy fishing.